Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create this teleporter here where you get teleported, disappeared and reappeared in a new place. So let's go. So I prepared a few things for this. So we have this blueprint actor here, we have this particle effect where it gets teleported, we have this material um, that will be appear and disappear the character so I put the link in the description that's a content package that's actually free in this month so you can download this for free so and we have yeah sound effect where we get teleported I also put the link in the description okay so let's go inside these blueprints here so I put already two of these inside the map as you can see and the blueprint actor is pretty simple as well so we have a capture collision that triggers the teleportation we have the static mesh that's just this base here we have a particle effect so the particle system component and we have an audio component to yeah play sound so let's go into the event graph so it's empty here so let's start it with the collision sensor and begin overlap classic so first of all we need the branch and the condition is from sweep swap I don't know so and we need a few variables so the target and the target is in this case the blueprint teleportation object reference so compile and save this and we make this public. The second one is ported. This is just a boolean to check if it's already ported. And the third one is the character itself. So in my case, let's keep it simple. That's just a third person character. And this is the object reference. Compile and save this. Great. So let's get started. The branch goes on true. Will be set ported to false at the begin. Then we cars to our uh, third person character. In this case, put this inside here. The other actor will be the object. And then we want to set our character, of course, to the overlapped character. So the next part is we set movement mode. So it will connect the character movement, put it inside here and leave it to none. So we can't move because when the teleportation gets started, the character should not allowed to move anymore. So, and now we need a sequence here like this one. And now we go from the zero here. So the first thing I want to do, I want a delay of 0 0.5 seconds. Then I want to play sound 2D. And that's the sound I pre prepared here. So put it right here. Then I want another delay in this case again 0 0.5 seconds so that's a little bit smoother then so we take our character and then we say get mesh from the mesh we say create dynamic material instance and on complete connect it we leave it to zero at the index and we need a source material so that's the material I prepared so the test material like this pretty simple but we use these function that I uh, said earlier and so see in the description great so we select it put it right here okay so actually what the what the color does is as you can see we have this color here and when I trigger the appearance in can on zero you it's disappeared on one it appears and you can switch around these values here 
So it's pretty easy what we have done here. So we take this here. First of all, we need a branch. And we ask if it's already ported. So then on true, we add a timeline. This will be up here. And we play it from start. So open this up here, we create a new float here, and this will be amount, just for example. And we create a new key on, so this is to ip here. So on zero, we have a value of zero. And we take a second one, and this will be, let's say, time will be three as well as the length up here, three, and the value just will be one. So put this like here, so it goes from zero over three seconds to one, so that's for appearing. So let's close this here, so copy and paste this, and on false, again, play from start, so open this up as well. And then we just take this point, we go on time one, will be value one, and on three seconds, we go to zero. Let's rename this here to this uh, peer. Great. So, and now we want from the return value from create the dynamic material instance, and we say set Scala parameter value. So an update is and amount will be the value. And then this will be the appearance. So copy and paste this down here. Again, update and amount. Compile and save this. I of course, target will must be defined like this. Great. And now on appear, of course, we want to set the character movement again. So set movement mode. So when it appears again, of course, we want to set the mode to walking again. Compile and save this. And now on this one here, we need another delay of four seconds in this case when it disappears. So what I want to do is, and um, on the sequence again, we go back and on the then, we need another delay of again 0 0.5 seconds. And then we take our particle effect and say set active on complete. And we want to activate it. Then we need another delay, of course, of four seconds. Then we can copy and paste this and we want to set it to not active again. So this is for the particle effect. Great, so we go back to here. So we go from the delay here, we want to set the actor location. So set actor, in this case, transform. So this is easier. And then we say split structure pin. So we have the location, rotation, and scale. And of course we want to teleport. So then we take our target here, say get, and then we say get world location. And of course we want to get the location of the collision sensor, like this one. Of course the location goes inside the location then we take our character and we say get world rotation of the mesh. Put this inside the rotation and that's the actually teleport. So we need another sequence here because the first part I want that the particle are appearing on the new spot. So of course we need a delay again 
of again 0 0.5 seconds. So we do the same thing like before, but now with the with the other sensor. So we take our target. So we say set active for the P teleportation. The P teleportation is the particle system. So complete, we want to set it to active. Copy and paste this, put a little delay inside here. And after four seconds, it will be not active anymore. So like before. And from the second sequence, we go out up here. And we want to set port it to true. So we go up here and then we go back to the delay on the first sequence. So as you can see, we go all the way back because we want to appear again. That's why we put this branch inside here. So let's take a look. So we have a branch. This is that's not repeated. So otherwise you create a loop. We have set the port to false calls to the character, set the character, put it into the movement mode not, so that C can't move. Um, down here, we um, activate the particular effect, then we play the sound, create the materials. So in the first part, it goes on the false case because port it is false, so it disappears. Port the character actually, then on the new place, it will appear the particular effect, then it goes, set the ported to true, goes again here, play the sound again, create again a material, but now it's true. So it, it appears again, and then it sets the movement mode again to walking. And then it's finished. So, oh yeah, I forgot. We have to set, of course, the character as the target, of course. So let's see if it works. So we go back to our level here and when we go to details, we select the first teleportation and we set the target to the second one. The second one will be as a target to the first one. Of course, you can set target whatever you want, but yeah. So this one will teleport to this, this one to this. So let's see if it works. So we go off. Particle tag will play it. We disappeared and appear on the new location. Of course, we can return this. Go back. Great. So, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.